Hey everyone, Nuno here, and today I'm bringing a new game to the channel. Well, it's not really a new game since it has already a few years. I think it was released around 2007 or 2008. But uh, it's the first time that I'm doing a video about this game on, on my channel. So yeah, it's kind of like a new game to the channel. Uh, of course, I'm talking about The Witcher Enhanced Edition. Um, I have to say that I have almost all the Witchers, I'm just missing the expansion packs for the Witcher tree. Uh, something that I hope to get soon in some kind of promo, um, maybe a, on, on, on Christmas sales or, or something like that. Now, um, I wasn't really sure what to do exactly with this game. Uh, or how I would go, how I would approach this game on on my videos. So I, I just decided to go with me playing the game and doing some commenting on on the game, um, in a way that it could also be used as uh, some kind of walkthrough. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing the prologue of the game. I'm not sure if we will be able to finish it since it's kind of long. I think it's it would take around an hour or something like that. So I'm not really sure we're going to be able to do it in, in, in just one video. Probably on two, maybe three videos. I don't want these videos to be too long also. And have in mind that this prologue is like kind of like a tutorial. And it will explain how the game works. Or, you know, all the mechanics and, and all that stuff. So with no more... Um, to say in this introduction, I guess. Uh, let's start the game, let's start a new game. So, when you start a new game, you have to select the game mode. Um, you have two modes on this enhanced version. I don't know if the Witcher original one also has these two modes, I don't think so, but let's just say that the enhanced version, which is the one I have, it has these two modes. The first one is the, the Witcher, and in here you can play the Witcher uh, ventures through a dark, wo dark world where there is no good or evil, just choices and their consequences. So I think this is the main story of the game, the Witcher. And then you have the new adventures, which are, I think it's like an expansion for the game, where you can play new adventures. Um, each of which tells a singular story based on the world and characters of the Witcher. So, you have the main game and then you have these, these adventures. We're gonna go, of course, for the main game, the Witcher, and eventually, after we finish this, uh, if I don't go to the Witcher 2, we can go to these new adventures. Difficulty. Now, there's three modes, easy, medium and hard. Um, the, the, the main the main changes in here is, for instance, on the easy one, um, the, the normally for no, novice, novice gamers, so combat is easier, alchemy is not required to survive. Um, when you go to the medium level, uh, it is recommended f for most gamers, since combat is kind of challenging, so that's good, and alchemy, although it's not required to survive, it's very useful, so it helps you out on your gameplay. If you go on hard, you have uh, it's mainly for advanced gamers. Combat difficulty is very hard. You know, it's it's hard, it's difficult, and alchemy is required to survive. Now, I'm not gonna play on hard because I don't like to play on hard. I have to say the truth. I'm, I'm normally I play on easy or medium. Um, I'm gonna go for easy because one of the main reasons for playing easy is I want I want to play a game with the story I want to know the story and playing it easy doesn't mean that the game is gonna lose all, all that environment and when it comes to RPGs story is the main the main focus uh, also if I play easy it makes the game easier I don't have to repeat that many times and basically having in mind that I don't have that much time to to do uh, all these games and play all these games that I want to play having in mind that I also have a full-time job that takes eight hours of my day and and then I also have a life I have a wife and 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 I like to travel and all that stuff and time for playing sometimes is very limited and playing on easy mode is the best way for me so I'm gonna go on easy now control mode um, 
I think I'm gonna go keyboard plus mouse because I think it's I'm mostly used to use keyboard and mouse so I, yeah I'm gonna go this way so now we s we're gonna wait for the loading and the game is gonna start really shortly with uh, a small intro if I'm not mistaken The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the Witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year 1270. Five years after the Great War. Time is its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't 
explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> Slowly at Kermorin. Ha! It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orans for every freak we kill. He's mine! Vesemir! We got company! I'm shutting the gate! Geralt, grab the sword off the training forms. Okay, so we start in the game after this small intro where um, we're being attacked by bandits. Um, the first thing we have to do is grab a sword. Uh, I, and to do that, the tutorial tells us that we have to pick up an item. And for doing that, you have to move the cursor over the sword and left click to equip it. Now, uh, I think it's this one, the rusty sword. So you grab it left click on an enemy to attack okay so as you guys can see an enemy has this red um, vit vitality indicator while a friend is a green one so it's easier to understand who you're protecting and who you're attacking anyways so okay I already have the sword and let's start attacking these bandits those I guess that it's not that much important right now if you do much damage anyways this is just for you to get um, a move around the store you know to, to see the mechanics of the game and as you guys can see there's different ways of playing the game or, or having um, camera movement so this one is OTS which is for me the best mode and you can use the, the, the keyboard uh, keys which are W, S, A, D um, and then you can use the mouse to attack and do all that stuff or you could just change the, the camera modes by pressing F1 or F2 um, we could try out different modes so let's see the isometric camera movement that's F1 so in here it's not bad either I guess it's not that bad either way, but it's so so different. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, what about F2? F2, it's a closer isometric view, I guess. But this one for me is the best one. Okay, F3, which is the OTDS, I guess. I don't know how I did that. Maybe I just jumped. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Okay, so we finished the first step of this quest. Um, and now we have to go here to these guys and follow up stairs to the upper courtyard I guess I don't think there's anything that you can loot right now in this in this area but soon enough we're gonna be able to loot something what's happening 
They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Temeria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the Sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Okay, so we now know a little bit more of, of what is happening. So we've been attacked by bandits and some mages. And now we have to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we have to open the, um, the gates. So to do that, I have to follow the minimap marker, which is always good because the quest is being tracked, if I'm not mistaken. So to find it, I can always press M key to view the map and, and, and know about it. So, as you guys can see, this is where I am. I'm the player, and this is where I have to go right now on on the first step. And then I have to go here to the gate uh, winch to open the gate. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna have to fight. So, let's fight these bandits. Okay, so we can also do chaining attacks while attacking. So to do that, basically you have to click when the sword icon is showing a flaming sword. So this means that every attack is going to be chained and it's going to do more damage to to the enemy. So as you guys can see, I'm attacking one. Now there's a flame I clicked. Another flame I clicked. And there it is. The guy is dead. It's quite easy, it's not that hard. Now let's keep on moving. Two more bandits. Regret the day you were born. Let's use the the attack with the flaming icon. You just have to be a little bit careful because you may click too fast or two times and then you cancel the attack. And that's not what you want to do. Uh, anyways, you don't have anything to loot in here yet. So just keep on moving. bandits I'll make you they don't do you that much damage so you can be okay it's kind of like this is easy they barely do any damage to you. okay that's also because I'm playing on easy level so let's keep on moving in here okay so now the tutorial is telling me that there are different enemies and you have to fight them with different styles. For instance, if you want to fight some enemies that are more agile than the other ones, you have to change your form uh, in, in order to, to do that. So you have to use the fast style. So fast style is easier to defeat agile opponents. 
and to, to switch for this new style you can click on the cat icon or by pressing X so X it's an easier shortcut and here we go you see the style of attacking is completely different the way he positions the, the weapon it's completely different let's keep on moving and now we have to switch back to the strong style because strong style it's easier to defeat larger and armored opponents you know like brute tank tanks uh, like those tanks I think it's tanks right there's normally the, the three kind of uh, kind of um, players or, or 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 game genders you have the tank you have the the the, 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 the damages and 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 the, the healers but I don't think that's it's not how it works in here anyways but <laughs> I'm already divigating a little bit from here but anyways to go and fight these stronger enemies you have to use press Z icon or click on the wolf icon uh, of course the icon is, is it's easier and as you guys can see the stance you know the positioning of your sword and the way you attack is completely different on moving now it's it tells me in here about active pause now active pause is if when you press the space bar the game gets in pause mode and then you can use the mouse and and switch by clicking on the icons that's something we hadn't done before so as you guys can see that's the only way you guys can do to click on the icons uh, on these on this uh, camera mode I think I don't know if the other camera modes are like that but anyways, let's change to fast style and attack the first one, which is a, a, which is a, a bandit, as you guys can see. The weapon he uses is, is, is weaker. If we try with this one, you can see that he, he does a lot of parry. So let's change it to a stronger style and kill these enemies. Okay, everything is okay. Oh, so let's keep on moving. through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. Okay, so right now, let me just put in on a pause. Right now you have a place where you can uh, and you will uh, loot at least a barrel and I think the enemies right now they're gonna start uh, giving you loot also when you defeat them. So let me see if there's anything else I need to to understand. Um, okay, so let's go. I'm sorry, I will, I have to click on the space and let's attack this bandit now. This one is a stronger one, so we use the strong stance and he's killed. Now we know there's a bell icon. You don't want to click on that one. There's the siege. It's not useful either. But then you have a barrel. You can loot it for a flint. I don't know if it's always a flint. Oh, now there's a bandit. This one is agile, so let's strike him with uh, fast style. This other one, this archer, is also a fast style, I think. So let's attack him with the fast style. Now, yeah. As you guys can see, that one doesn't have anything, but this one has remains, so I can use the remains and loot him. So it's chicken like, which is food. It restores vitality, so it restores your health. Um, anyways, let's keep on walking. Your goal in here is to go downstairs and well, let's change the style here and open the wrench. 
It's a ring, winch, I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyways, open the gate, that's your goal. Let's change to fast style. Using the short keys are a lot easier. Z and X, they're the best ones. Oh, another one in here. Okay. okay, now let's go to the strong style. Because this one is a stronger opponent. This one again. I'm always trying to click. I click the first time and then all the other times that it shows, uh, you know, um, Flaming arrow on the cursor, I click there so it can go on combo. Sometimes I miss, but most of the times I'm able to do it. Anyways, the goal right now of the quest is using objects. So what I have to do is left click on the winch to open the gate. So uh, there's also a tip if I press Alt to highlight all usable objects nearby. You cannot use objects and doors during combat. Okay, so first I have to. I think I have to remove combat mode, I guess. The best way to do that, I think, is by clicking on, on here on the remains. Uh, maybe not. Now, I had to talk, click on Alt, right? I think it was Alt. Or was it Shift? No, not Shift. I think it was Alt, yeah. There's no. Yeah, there's nothing nearby on this one. So let's click on the winch and keep on the story. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not Masons. No matter. The Professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, Witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts? I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Okay, so now we have access to the inventory um, and basically to access. Uh, those items on my inventory. I have to press uh, the I icon or I key um, And then right click on the Thunderbolt uh, Potion to use it. I also can drag and drop potions into quick slots to create shortcuts in the main screen uh, In order to provide a quicker access to potions like I'm fighting then I pause it and I can click on the potion Yeah, something like that but anyways, uh, after this cutscene um, cut that uh, already happened, um, I now have a mission, I think I have a new mission, which is to explore the citadel and try to prevent that the salamander bandits um, from ob obtaining the witcher's mutagens. Mutagent? Mutagent? I don't know. Uh, Anyways, let's talk with the characters. I think I can talk with Lambert first. Get it done quickly and you may be back in time for the Frightener. Will do. What did Vesemir mean about me and sorcerers? You killed a few in your time. Sorceresses are a separate matter. You have a weakness for them and it's mutual. Marigold cried when she told us of your disappearance. She's not all bad, though too smart for her own good sometimes. 
We'll talk when things calm down. Drink your Thunderbolt potion and explore the keep. Okay, so although you don't get any experience with this, you do get some inf nice info, I guess. Beware of the professor. I've heard he's a professional. Ended 17 lives. All right. Sorry. I know you've fought bandits and mages before. Uh, remember your potions. Okay, let's talk with Trish. Maybe there's a mirror. Seems like there's nothing to talk with them. Let's talk with Leo. Ready, Geralt? Mm hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a quick save. I think it's F5 key. Yeah, save. Now the game is saved, and let's go inside the citadel. Geralt, wait! What? Bandits inside. Drink the Thunderbolt potion Vesemir gave you. Oh yeah, I was forgetting about the potion. So, let's drink the Thunderbolt. Move the cursor over an effect icon to see more information about the effect. So, okay, so we can do that by pressing pause and then with your mouse you can see that the Thunderbolt will increase the damage, the dodge and the parry uh, effect. E uh, and parry of course and it's gonna last eight hours I think that's eight hours in game so for eight hours while you're playing the game you have that the, the, the that value over there you also can see other information like the experience my character level is zero well it should be level one but anyways I have 200 points I need um, a thousand to level up and that's basically it. So let's play the game and go. Let's go inside the entrance. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Okay, so let's just grab the journal. Um, so the journal gives us characters' names and, and a little bit of info about them. Uh, but what I'm really into is the quests. So I have to go to the underground laboratory. That's my goal. Let's go move forward. Okay, in OTS mode, which is the one I'm, I'm doing, uh, double tap a directional key to dodge enemies. Okay, so if I go when you're in combat. Try to do this first. Let's go one. Okay, you see, I dodged it with the pirouette. Okay, that's interesting. Kill another one, and let's kill this other one. Okay, now let's help Leo. Seems to have some kind of trouble in here. Okay, he's dead. Now where should we go? Forward, I guess. Have to go forward. The group style is most effective against groups of weaker opponents, so I have to switch to this style by left-clicking on the Griffin icon or by pressing C. Okay, so let's press C. Okay, so, so on this mode, I can attack multiple characters, although I don't do as much damage. I can attack multiple characters. Well, this is good. I have a lot of remains now. 
Let's loot all of them. That's good. That's good. Loot all of them. Uh, I don't think I have anything else in here, only these remains. Let's go keep on the story. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You trembled, yet you complained Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the Wintergens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Okay, so now we have to learn... Um, the Hard Sign. All of that, I need to get to the circle. And I have to left click on the element stone to learn uh, this sign. Um, further on the game, or later on the game, I need to look for other elemental circles for learning new powers. Anyways, let's just click on here and learn it. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. Okay, so this one, I can with this uh, uh, art, I can knock down um, or stun enemies. Okay, this is good to know. Something in here. There's a crate. Why not loot it right away? Like a whetstone. This allows me to upgrade my weapon. Back to Leo. Cast the ord at the rubble blocking the stairs. Okay, so for me to cast it, I have to right click the mouse button if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, exactly. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the Circle of Elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the Circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the Circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Okay, so now we have to choose if we want to go to the lab or handle the Frightener with Vesemir. Um, I think that if we handle the Frightener, we get more experience. But adding into the 
Citadel. Um, I think I can get more loot, so I'm gonna go to the lab. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. So, let me just save this first. Let me just go in here and see if the save is done. Yeah, in the interior. It always saves in a new slot. That's good, I guess. Um, but anyways, guys. Uh, we're going to stop in here for now. Because it's already getting a little bit longer. <laughs> and we already get, we're going to have a little bit of uh, stronger fights further on. But we're going to leave this for the next episode. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment. And we will see you guys really, really soon. Thank you and cheers.